Hello children, how are you all? I hope everyone you are fine and safe at home. This is Aruna, your Max teacher from Badasa Metric High Secondary School, Arakonam. Today for 7th standard first chapter, we are going to see about integers. Before going to the topic, let me know about numbers. What is numbers? Numbers is a mathematical object is used to count, measure and label. For counting purpose, numbers are started first initially. So counting from starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. So this counting numbers are called natural numbers. Counting numbers are called natural numbers. So natural number is denoted by capital N. In natural number, the set of number is 1, 2, 3 till up to etc. Here 1 is the smallest natural number and we can't find the greatest natural number. Natural numbers are uncountable. So along with this natural number, when 0 is included, it is called whole number. Whole numbers. So whole number is denoted by capital W which is the first letter of the whole number. So the set of whole number is W equal to 0, 1, 2 till up to etc. infinite. Here the smallest whole number is 0 and we can't find the greatest whole number. Here whole numbers are also uncountable. So 1, 2, 3 are all positive and 0 is neither positive nor negative. What about negative integers? So today our topic is integers. This is the first chapter in maths. So what is integer? Integer is nothing but a negative numbers along with zero and natural number are called integers. Integers can be represented on a number line like zero at the middle and right side of zero positive integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till etc. And left side of zero it will be negative integers minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and etc. See all the positive integers are greater than 0. All the positive integers are greater than 0 and 0 is greater than all the negative integers. 0 is greater than all the negative integers. Integer is denoted by capital Z. See, my minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 till etc. is called integers. It can be represented on the number line also. When we are going to represent on number line, 0 is at middle and right side of 0 positive numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and it will be etc. And left side of 0 it is negative minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4 till etc. So, this set of numbers are called integers. Where we are using integers in our day-to-day -day life? So, integers we are using in our day-to-day -day life or when the businessman starts a business, he may get a profit or loss. Right? Profit will be in positive and loss will be in negative. And when the temperature is measured, the temperature when it increases, it will be in the positive. When the temperature decreases, it will be in the negative. So, like this we are using our integers in our day to day life. Integers where we are using in our day to day life. The uses of integers or when the businessman does business, there will be a profit, right? The profit will be in increasing form gives positive value. When there is a loss, it will be in the negative number. Like this, the temperature also can be measured. When the temperature increases, it is positive. When the temperature decreases, it is negative. And the sea level, the sea level will be considered as zero. When we are going to measure the level above the sea level is called positive values. When we are going to measure the distance from sea level to the submarine, it is negative values. So like this we are using integers in our day to day life. See to simplify the integers 4 plus minus 6. Here 4 is a positive integer plus minus 6. Minus 6 is a negative integer. In this yellow color represents positive and red color represents negative. See how many positive number is given here 4 right. 
so take four yellow colors and then minus six so minus represents red color and six so one two three four five six red colors are placed here while we are joining this yellow and red yellow color represents plus one and red color represents minus one plus one and minus one gives zero so when we pair this negative and positive it will become zero so how many pairs are there like this in the sense one two three four so if i pair all these four pairs it will become zero and it is eliminated and what is the remaining here so remaining is two what color is this yes deepak what color is this red yes red color represents whether it is positive or negative is negative so our answer is negative and how many red colors are remaining here one two so the answer is minus two see there are some conditions in our integers to add both the integers are positive the answer will be in positive the answer will be in positive when we add and both the integers are negative the answer will be in negative when we add and one is positive and one is negative the answer will be positive when it will be positive in the sense positive is greater than the negative integer and positive and negative two integers are given the answer will be negative when it will be negative in the sense negative integer is greater than the positive integer if you have known this four conditions then to solve the integers and to get the answer will be easy for us so for example how to solve integers see shall we solve a few problems now first one is minus 4 plus 7 so minus 4 it is a negative integer and plus 7 is a positive integer so what will be the answer now by doing simple activity we can find the answer see minus 4 how many negative signs i am going to take us four negative signs see 1 2 3 4 negative signs and 7 is a positive integer so i am going to take positive symbol seven times so seven times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now here positive single positive symbol represents plus 1 and negative sign symbol represents minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 gives 0 so while we are joining this positive and negative it will become 0 and again pair this one more positive and negative it is 0 and again the third pair and fourth pair so what is left here positive symbols are left so the answer is positive the first thing and second thing how many positive in symbols are there 1 2 3 so what is the answer now so the answer is plus 3 right so the next question is minus 4 minus 3 both are negative integers minus 4 is a negative integer and minus 3 is also a negative integer if both are negative signs what we are going to do is first negative how many negative signs i am going to take four right 1 2 3 4 negatives and minus 3 how many negative signs we are going to take three negative signs 1 2 3 so the given question is all the symbols are negative if one is positive and one is negative then it will become a zero right but here all the symbols are negative so the answer also is going to be negative so minus and see how many minus signs are there how to find how many minus signs are there by counting all this we will get the total number of negative signs 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, right? So, how many negative signs are there? Seven negative signs. So, when both the integers are negative, the answer will be negative, and we need to add, right? When one integer is positive and one integer is negative, we want to subtract, and the answer will be positive or negative depends upon the question. When the positive integer is greater than the negative, the answer will be positive. 
when the negative integer is greater than the positive the answer will be negative the next third example what we are going to see is minus 9 plus 4 so 9 is a negative integer and 4 is a positive integer so first we are going to take 9 negative symbols 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then positive 4 how many positive symbols we are going to take is 4 1 2 3 4 now by removing this positive and negative it will become 0 now pair this 1 2 3 4 pairs will become 0 so the remaining which is left is positive or negative yes Vignesh is this positive or negative symbol yes it is negative so we are going to write negative the answer is negative and how many negative signs are left here 1 2 3 4 5 negative signs are there so our answer is negative minus 5 so they are three conditions are there if both the negative positives are there we will add the answer will be positive if both the integers are negative the answer will be negative and we need to add if one is positive and one is negative the answer will be positive when the positive integer is greater than the negative and one is positive and one is negative integer the answer will be negative when the negative is greater than the positive this is absolute value absolute value is nothing but the numerical value of the integer without taking its sign into consideration so we are not going to consider the sign only the value what is given there say for example the absolute value is given in the number line here 0 and till 6 is taken so how many units from 0 to 6 is 6 units whatever it may be a right side or left side from 0 to here minus 6 how many units are moved here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 is away from 0 and minus 6 is also away from 0 so the modulus value of 6 is 6 and the absolute value of minus 6 also 6 so the integer whatever given in the absolute value whether it is a positive or negative our answer is always positive absolute value will be always positive absolute value absolute value of the integer is the numerical value of the integer without taking its sign into consideration see absolute value is always positive absolute value is without taking its sign into consideration for example say this is modulus symbol the number which is written inside this modulus symbol is minus 4 see modulus of minus 4 equal to don't consider this sign then the answer is 4 so this is called absolute value the absolute value of minus 4 is 4 so without taking its sign into consideration is called absolute value say modulus of 9 what is the value then here 9 is a positive integer so write 9 itself so without taking this negative or positive sign we are going to give the answer that is called absolute value absolute value is always positive when the integer is negative or positive the answer is always positive using this modulus values we are going to solve few problems the first one is modulus of 17 minus 23 see inside the modulus if a single integer is given we can write the answer directly like modulus of minus 4 is 4 modulus of 9 is 9 but here the modulus value which is given like modulus of 17 minus 23 two integers which is given in this question 17 is a positive integer and minus 23 so minus 23 is a negative integer so first we are going to solve these two values first without taking its sign just see 17 and 23 which is greater between these two numbers 23 right so first we are going to take minus 23 and then plus 17 if this two integers one is positive and one is negative we need to subtract so we are going to subtract here subtract this first which is in the ones place and tens place first from the ones place 3 minus 7 can you subtract 3 minus 7 
3 is smaller than 7. So we can't subtract 3 minus 7. So we are going to get borrow from the next place which is in tens. It is 2. So 2 from 2 we are going to get borrow. So 2 will become 1. And this 3 will become as 13. Now what is the answer? Subtract 13 minus 7. What is the answer Darshini? 13 minus 7. 7 after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many fingers you have now? 6. So 13 minus 7 is 6. 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now the answer is 6. Whether it is a positive 6 or negative 6. So already we have seen that when the negative integer is greater, the answer will be negative. When the positive integer is greater, the answer will be positive. So here the negative is greater. So the answer also negative. So here the answer is modulus of minus 6. We solve only this two integers. 17 minus 23, we got minus 6. What is modulus of minus 6? What is the absolute value of minus 6? Without considering its sign, we are going to give the answer is modulus value, right? So, modulus of minus 6 is, answer is 6. Is it clear? One more example, minus modulus of minus 9 plus 15. First, we are going to solve these two integers. So, both positive and negative is given. So, without considering its sign, which number is greater among these two? 15 or 9? 15. Yes, Dinesh? 15 is a positive or negative integer? It is a positive integer. So, first we are going to take the greater number plus 15. And then minus 9. Write 9 straight to this 1's place. If both the integers... One is positive and one is negative. What we are going to do? Is yes, what we are going to do, Dinesh? We need to subtract. Now subtract 5 minus 9. Is it possible to subtract 5? To subtract 5 minus 9? No, it is not possible because 5 is smaller than this 9. Get borrow from this 1. 1 will become a 0 and this 5 will become as 15. Now... Deepika, tell me what is 15 minus 9? 15 minus 9 is? Yes, 9 after 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, how many fingers? 6. So, the answer is 6. Here it is 0. So, what is the symbol of 6? Whether it is a positive or a negative integer? So here positive integer is greater. So our answer also positive. So first the negative sign what is given outside the modulus will be as it is. Then modulus of minus 9 plus 15 given the answer is positive 6. So modulus of 6 what is the value of modulus of 6? Answer is 6. Here the negative sign which is given outside the modulus will be as it is. Then modulus of 6 is 6. So the answer is minus 6. Next we are going to see the properties of addition and subtraction of integers. So whatever the properties are closure property, commutative property, associative property, additive identity and additive inverse. First closure property. Closure property for any integer a and b, a plus b will be an integer. For example, you are going to take a value of a and b, that is a is 7 and b is minus 9. 7 plus minus 9 is plus into minus, it will be minus. So, 7, 7 minus 9. 7 minus 9 equal to here, we are going to take minus 9 plus 7 which we are going to subtract here, 9 minus 7. So, different signs we are going to subtract here, 9 minus 7 is 2. And here the negative integer is greater, so answer also negative. So, the answer is minus 2. So, 7 plus minus 9 is minus 2 is an integer, minus 2 is an integer. So, a plus b is also an integer. So, closure property satisfies addition. And for subtraction, integers are closed and under addition. For subtraction, a minus b. a minus b in the sense a value is minus 2 minus b value is 5. Subtract this both. 
minus 2 minus 5. If it is same sign minus 2 minus 5, we are going to add this. So, 2 plus 5. What is 2 plus 5? 2 plus 5 is 7. Both are negative. Answer also will be negative. So, the answer is minus 7. Minus 7 is an integer. Yes. So, A minus B is an integer. Therefore, integers are closed under subtraction. So, in closure property, addition and subtraction both satisfies closure property. Next, we are going to see commutative property. See, commutative property, if A and B are two integers, then A plus B equal to B plus A. An example now. So, A value is minus 4 and B value is 3. So, check this left hand side as well as right hand side. When the value both are equal, then commutative property satisfies for addition of integers. Take the condition A plus B equal to B plus A. Substitute the value. A value is, what is A value? A value is, yes, minus 4 plus B value. B value is 3 equal to, here B value is 3 plus A value. A is negative value na. So, indicate in the bracket. Now, here left hand side minus 4 plus 3. See, positive and negative integer. To solve this, first which is the greatest, don't consider this sign. Compare this two number, 4 and 3, which is greater? 4 is greater, yes. So, first we are going to take minus 4 plus 3. Different signs or positive and negative integers is given, we are going to subtract. 4 minus 3 is, what is 4 minus 3? 4 minus 3 is 1. And 1 is a positive or a negative answer? Yes, here the negative sign is greater. So, our answer is also negative. So, whenever the negative integer is greater, the answer will be negative. So, on left hand side, the answer is minus 1, which is equal to. So, in right hand side, 3. Here, 2 signs which is given plus and minus. Plus into minus, minus 4. Here 3 is a positive integer minus 4 plus 3 minus 4. The same minus 4 plus 3 gives minus 1. So minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So whenever you are going to take any two integer for A and B, the condition is A plus B equal to B plus A. If it satisfies, then commutative property is satisfies the condition of addition. So integers... Addition or addition is addition is commutative for integers. So, commutative property satisfies addition. Next, we are going to see the subtraction of commutative property. Next, commutative property for subtraction. See, but here A minus B is not equal to B minus A. We will verify this A minus B whether it is equal or not equal. For example, A equal to minus 3 and B equal to 4. So, first A minus B, A minus B equal to, substitute A value, A is minus 3 minus B, B is 4. See, minus 3, minus 4. Both are in the same sign. Whether it is both are positive, we are going to add. Answer will be positive. Both are negative integers also. We are going to add. The answer will be negative. So, consider only the whole number here. 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. So, answer is minus 7. Both the integers are negative. So, our answer also negative. A minus B value is minus 7. And we are going to take B minus A now. B minus A equal to B value is 4 minus and A instead of A we are going to take minus 3. So, write in the bracket. Now, remove this bracket. To remove this bracket, minus into minus. So, 4 minus into minus plus 3. 4 plus 3. What is 4 plus 3? Is yes, 4 plus 3 is 7. Here A minus B value is 
minus 7 but b minus a value is 7. Whether minus 7 is equal to 7? No, which is positive here it is negative. So, it is not equal minus 7 is not equal to 7 that is why a minus b is not equal to b minus a. So, subtraction is Subtraction is not commutative for integers. So, addition is commutative for integers and but in subtraction of commutative property a minus b is not equal to b minus a. Subtraction is not commutative for integers. So, in commutative property addition it satisfies and subtraction it does not satisfy. So, addition is commutative for integers, subtraction is not commutative for integers. Using this examples you can go through the exercise questions also. Next we are going to see associative property. See in associative property we are going to take 3 integers a, b and c are 3 integers. First for addition a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c. Example, c a equal to 3, b equal to minus 2 and c equal to 1. And check the condition now a plus b plus c. First we will take a plus b plus c value. a plus b plus c equal to c a value is 3 plus b is minus 2 plus c is 1. First we are going to solve the answer which is given in the bracket. So, first 3 plus minus 2 plus 1. If it is different integers what we are going to do? We are going to subtract both the numbers. So, 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Whether it is a positive 1 or negative 1? Which is greater in this 1 or 2? 2 is greater. Is what is the sign of 2? 2 is negative. So, answer also negative minus 1. 3 and change the sign now plus into minus. Plus into minus minus 1. 3 minus 1. What is 3 minus 1? 3 minus 1 is 2. So, a plus b plus c equal to 2 and we are going to check next a plus b plus c a plus b plus c equal to a value is 3 plus b value is minus 2 plus c value is 1. Now remove this bracket 3 plus into minus minus 2 plus 1 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 what is the answer? Yes. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So, a plus b plus c equal to 2, a plus b plus c that is left hand side answer is 2 and right hand side answer is also 2. So, associative property satisfies for addition. So, uh, addition is associative for integers. Then we are going to see for subtraction the same in the associative property whether it satisfies for subtraction or not. So, the condition is a minus b minus c is not equal, not equal to a minus b minus c. So, for example, we are going to take the value of a, b, c, a equal to 3, b equal to minus 2 and c equal to 1. Substitute in this a value is a minus b minus c equal to a is 3 minus b value is minus 2 minus c value is 1. So, 3 minus in this bracket minus 2 minus 1. If same signs are there we are going to add the numbers that is 2 plus 1 is 3. The negative integers gives negative value which is minus 3. So, 3 minus minus 3. Now, minus into minus minus into minus plus 3, 3 plus 3. What is 3 plus 3? 3? 3 plus 3 is 6. 
So, left hand side A minus B minus C answer is 6. Now, we are going to take right hand side A minus B minus C. So, first take A value A is 3 minus B value is minus 2 right in the bracket minus C value is 1. Now, remove this bracket. So, minus into minus, minus into minus will become plus 3 plus 2 minus 1. What is 3 plus 2? 3 plus 2 is 5 minus 1. So, 3 plus 2 is 5 minus 1. What is 5 minus 1? 5 minus 1 is 4. So, right hand side value A minus B minus C equal to 4. Left hand side A minus B minus C is 6. Whether 6 is equal to 4? No, it is not equal. So, subtraction is not associative for integers. Addition is associative for integers, but subtraction is not associative for integers. Addition is associative for integers. But in subtraction, A minus B minus C is not equal to A minus B minus C. Subtraction is not associative for integers. So, in associative property, it satisfies only addition, not subtraction. So, using this examples, you can go through with the exercise problems. Next, additive inverse. See, the negative of the integer is called the additive inverse of the integer. Negative of the integer is nothing but, see for example, I am going to take an integer like 7. So, the additive inverse of 7 is negative of the integer. This negative sign of 7 is minus 7. So, the additive inverse of 7 is minus 7. Okay, if it is a positive integer, I am getting the additive inverse as negative. When it is a negative integer, for example, minus 4, what is the additive inverse of minus 4? Minus 4 is negative of the integer. So, negative of the integer minus 4. What is minus into minus? Minus into minus plus. So, positive 4. The additive inverse of minus 4 is 4. Here the additive inverse they have given. Let the integer be minus 5. So, what is the additive inverse? Additive inverse of minus 5 equal to 5. See, if it is a negative integer, the additive inverse is positive. If the additive inverse is positive, the answer will be negative. The additive inverse of minus 5 is 5. The additive inverse of Additive inverse of 7 equal to minus 7. The additive inverse of an integer is positive. The answer will be in negative. So, additive inverse of an integer is the negative of an integer. The sum of the additive inverse and the integer gives always 0. That is, for example, 5 is an integer. Sum in the sense it is plus. The additive inverse of 5 is minus 5. See, 5 plus into minus minus 5. 5 minus 5 equal to 0. So, therefore, the sum of an integer and its additive inverse is always 0. The sum of an integer and its additive inverse is always 0. Additive identity. When we add 0 to any integer, we are getting the same integer. That is additive identity. For example, we can take a value as 3 plus 0 which gives the same 3. So, a plus 0 equal to a. Here 0 is the additive identity for integers. When we add an integer with 0, we will get the same integer. For a negative integer also, minus 5 plus 0 gives minus 5. So, the same integer when we get, when we add with 0, then 0 is the additive identity for integers. For example, let the integer be 3. 
3 plus 0. 3 plus 0 gives 3. So, we are getting the same integer. So, when we add an integer with 0, we get the same integer. Here, 0 is the additive identity. So, 3 is a positive integer. Let me take a negative integer. Minus 7 plus 0. Minus 7 plus 0 will give minus 7. Here also we are getting the same integer minus 7. 0 is the additive identity. So, additive identity is nothing but a integer when we add to 0 gives same integer whatever it may be a positive or a negative integer. So, 0 is called the additive identity. Solve a problem here. See the question subtract the sum of minus 5020 and 2320 from minus 709. First what we are going to take is the sum of minus 5020 and 2320. From this step first we are going to solve. So the solution is first we are going to take sum of minus 5020 and 2320. Here sum is nothing but addition. So first the number is minus 5020 plus for sum. The next second number is 2320 equal to. See already we have known that how to solve two integers. When one is positive and one is negative, we need to subtract. See the without considering the sign, compare these two numbers among these two. So which is greater 5000 or 2000 value? 5000 is greater. First we are going to take minus 5020 plus 2320. So if one is positive and one is negative, we are going to subtract this. Now subtract this 0 minus 0, 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. The next 0 minus 3. Is it possible to subtract 0 minus 3? It is not possible. Get borrow from 5. 5 will become 4 and this 0 will become 10. 10 minus 3. 10 minus 3 is 7. And what is 4 minus 2? 4 minus 2 is 2. So, the answer is 2700. Whether 2700 is a positive or a negative integer? It is negative because when negative, a greater value is negative, our answer also will be negative. If the greater value is positive, our answer will be positive. So, the answer is negative. So, minus 2700 is the answer for the sum of minus 5020 and 2320. Next coming to the question subtract second step is subtract instead of this sum of this question we find the answer now we are going to write minus 2700 the remaining question is from minus 709. Now we are going to subtract this two integers. See the question subtract minus 2700 from minus 709. From in the sense first we are going to take minus 709. So the first number minus 709 subtract instead of subtract we are going to take minus symbol. Next the number is again minus 2700 right in the bracket. First remove this bracket. To remove the bracket, first what we are going to do? Minus 709 and these two signs are there now. To remove the bracket, minus into minus. Minus into minus is plus 2700. Now we know how to solve the positive and negative integer. So now consider without considering the sign, the value which is greater 709 or 2700. 2700 is greater. So, first we are going to take 2700 and next minus 709. 
So, if it is different in sign we are going to subtract. So, now subtract this is it possible to subtract 0 minus 9? 0 minus 9 is not possible. So, get borrow from the next number. The next number also 0. So, we are going to move for the next third digit which is in the hundreds place. Get borrow from 7. 7 will become 6 and the 0 will become 10. Now, from this tens place to ones place we can get borrow. Then 10 will become 9 and this 0 will become as 10. Now, we can subtract this. 10 minus 9. 10 minus 9. What is 10 minus 9? 10 minus 9 is 1 and 9 minus 0. 9 minus 0 is 9 and 6 minus 7. Is it possible to subtract 6 minus 7? No, because 6 is smaller than 7. So, we are going to get borrow from the next digit which is 2. 2 will become as 1 and this 6 will become as 16. Now, what is 16 minus 7? 16 minus 7. 7 after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So, 16 minus 7 is 9. And the next final digit is 1. So, 1991 is the answer. Is it positive or a negative integer? Here, 2700 is a positive integer. So, which is greater? So, the positive integer answer also will be positive. So, finally, we will got the answer as 1991. Thank you. In this session, the first exercise of integers has completed and in the description box, we have given subject material, question bank and self-assessment for your reference. Please go through the materials and work out in the subject notes. After you are completing your subject note, I have, we have given the self-assessment question paper for you. Write the test in the separate uh, test notebook and send to our WhatsApp number. Thank you students. Thank you.